anyway, so what's going to be happening is that we're going to be talking about the top five high-paying Singapore freelance jobs. Hi everyone, this is Ram down here and welcome to the very first episode of Top List Tuesday. It's the only page dedicated to all the top lists for you. And if you are missing out on this, not to worry, you can always check out on the Facebook page of Top List Tuesday or just go and check out the Rams Nation. But before we actually get started on that, I would like to actually wish everybody out there who's going to be celebrating after breaking all that fast, a breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast. All right, basically, for those of you who are going to be celebrating Hari Raya, Selamat Hari Raya. I know tomorrow is going to be Hari Raya. If you're watching this right now, it's the 4th of June 2019. If not, you're watching it way much later. It could be years later. It could even be a decade later, maybe a few centuries later. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but hopefully you're watching this right now on the very first episode of Top List Tuesday. All right, so before we actually get started on today's program itself, I want you to do me a huge favor. Hit the like, subscribe, do share. What else? Leave a comment. So anyway, you can find for us at Top List Tuesday. Without further ado, let's get started. Number five. Now let's talk about tuition. I come from a family with all of them, mainly, mainly who are educators themselves. And I can tell you this is probably one of the top paying freelance jobs. I've got a cousin who does that full time. I've got another cousin who does that part time. I've got people that I know of who do it as a freelance. And just to share this with you, it mints money. You, I mean, not mints as in mints, mint. I'm talking like mint as in mint money, okay? So anyway, just let me share this with you. For those of you who are planning to do this, now, the lowest average that you can be getting off from this is about $20 and our highest goes up to about $120. Now, at the primary school level, for those of you who are probably doing your A-levels, done with your A-levels, or going through a diploma, have a diploma, or probably with an undergrad, you would be earning somewhat between $20 to $25. Now, this is where you really be making money, is that if you are a full-time teacher in the government sector, even regard regardless, even if you're not in the government sector, you still will be earning the highest point because they want people who has relevant experience and understand what the education system is like. And you will be earning between $50 to $70. Check this out, okay? JC tuition teachers. I'm talking about tuition teachers who are actually going to be teaching JC A-level students. If you are graduated from your A-levels and you're teaching somebody at A-levels, be earning about 30 to 35 because you're still freshy but hear this out if you're an undergrad or maybe even with a degree you would be having anywhere between 35 to 60 dollars yeah it's quite a fair bit right that's like one dollar an hour check that out or perhaps even as a teacher itself you'll be earning anywhere between a hundred to 120 dollars going from house to house if imagine if you actually had that and have your own place and you actually gather all the people coming through now that's a lot of money there's also a way for people to actually do tuition for adults and that's usually for adult languages if you want to actually pick up a new language like myself if i could i would actually learn back mandarin again and tamil one more time but this goes throughout the board right for a level students or polytechnic students and want to teach a language to adults it's going to be between 20 to 25 dollars if it's going to be for a degree graduate you'll be earning somewhere between 30 to 35 dollars but as a current teacher or maybe even an ex-teacher itself you'll be earning between 50 to 60 dollars so relevance is important yes so it really depends and i can tell you most people in singapore probably have this qualification so you can actually do this at your freelance you could do this at night or maybe over the weekend i mean it's really up to you at number four yeah get it i mean like two and two at number four being a freelance photographer every kind of photography i mean let me read out to you you got wedding photography event photography portrait photography product photography food photography for this i'm talking about only for first timers right now if you're going to go into wedding uh event portrait product or even food photography as a first timer you would be probably earning as low as 50 dollars an hour to probably about at max about 150 dollars so let's hear this out. First timers usually you'll be getting anywhere between about $50 to $80 as a wedding photographer. $80 um, event photography, it's between about $60 to $120. And if a portrait is about $80 to $150. Now let me explain this to you right now. 
with wedding photography as a professional you do this as a full-time right they usually charge about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars then if you're gonna be looking at about event photography it's between about 120 to 180 and if a portrait is about 180 to 350 dollars now next thing you'll be looking at as a professional you'll be charging for product photography between 20 to 80 dollars for a single photo so you can imagine that if you are professional itself and you do have a nice collage of photos to showcase this is your time where you, you really can make money from this and food photography you'll be charging anywhere between 150 to 500 dollars a lot of times people get a bit confused what exactly is a full day rate now a full day rate talks about uh between anywhere eight hours to ten hours a day that that's a full day rate now editing time takes anywhere between a day all the way up to 30 days now you got to remember if you're doing this as a freelance and yes you have several clients you your client has to understand and yourself you got to understand is that you have to make sure that you do the photos in a timeline so you start with the first photo shoot and then you make sure that you carry on with their edit first so remember like the FIFO right FIFO method is basically first in first out that's what you got to do last in last out pretty interesting and that's our number four all right over to number three okay now this year very similar to what we talked previously it was about photograph now this is videography so videography at a freelance you could do like i mentioned earlier wedding videography is like wedding photos right so wedding videography we got corporate events and last one would actually be more of the commercial videography so commercials talking about like even a food coverage also that kind of things it's a commercial so anything to do with commercials that's where the true money is going to be made now for first timers this is where you want to listen into wedding videography for a whole entire day you could make between 500 to a thousand two for one entire day for corporate events videography if you're a first timer you'll be making anywhere between 800 to a thousand eight hundred dollars per day and for commercial videography you'll be making somewhere about 800 to two thousand dollars a day now, professionals, this is what you want to listen to. Wedding videographers charge between anywhere $1,100 to $3,800 per day as a professional. It goes up even more, right? I'm just going to speak on, on the average around there. Corporate event videographers charge anywhere between $2,000 to $5,000 a day. And commercial videography, now this is where the true money has been made between $2,500, $2,500 all the way up to $10,000 as an average of the lower scale. So it's like what my sister and myself are doing this video right now, this is a lower scale. So we charge in between that 2,005 range to $10,000 unless we're gonna be renting more equipment, getting more manpower into it, then it would just go up. Now all this that I'm speaking about excludes okay excludes your talents in there for your commercial videography exclude your sound man i'm talking like professional sound man so if you've got like uh, mounted on left mic like what i have right now here or maybe even a boom mic that is not professional okay i'm talking like professional sound man's a whole different thing it excludes the talent because talent fees takes a lot of money because they are the ones who are going to be representing your brand whether it's going to be uh hand commercial hand model what is gonna be a face model all these are talents included from there locations are excluding uh lighting should be part of it i would say i mean i mean if you're doing it as a first time you should invest in certain things as what we do have as a soft box here and another thing which it excludes would actually be animation because that takes time now things which it will be included in like i mentioned the lighting should be included in there basic edits your camera, uh, cameraman, your director, and royalty-free songs. Unless your client wants to pay for more, then you charge them accordingly. Because really, some songs cost between about $5 to all the way up to a few hundred. It really depends on how nice the tone of the song is going to be. Or you could essentially just go to Fiverr and pay somebody $5 to actually get your music done for you. But now, a lot of times in photography and videography, they would actually have a combination package where you, you pay anywhere between about a thousand four all the way up to about four thousand six hundred dollars where you be inclusive of maybe two videographers and one photographer and a lot of times in singapore and even within asia if you come from an asian family 
they would want a same day edit so they could actually showcase at night. So imagine this, on an average sum, you're making per hour $174. Not too shabby, isn't it? All right, over to number two. This is probably my favorite because this is what I do for a living. And yes, you can check me out at www.singaporemcram.com. MCs cover from road shows, trade shows, PC shows, dinner and dance, gala dinners. We do even from team buildings and government projects. And let me give you an estimated, okay? At the lowest, and I'm talking about just the lowest point will be at about $30 to all the way up. If you are going to be a celebrity MC, um, you could be earning about $2,000. So let me share this with you. Road shows, if you're a first timer with no show reel, that means nobody has no idea who you are. And this is your very first time, you could earn between about $40 to $60. If you're a professional, you'll be earning anywhere between 120 to 160 and that's where I am. Hopefully after all these videos, I will be under the celebrity range where it's gonna be celebrity, celebrity MCs earns between 180 to $800 per hour. And that is just for roadshow, trade shows and PC. Now for dinner and dance, product launch, gala dinner, for a four hour block and if it's your very first time doing this, you could charge between 400 to $800. Yes, that's for a four hour block. Now, if you're going through as an experienced MC with some good show reel as what I have right now, you could charge in between $1,002 to $2,000 for a four hour block. If you're a celebrity MC, I'm not kidding about this. I know literally a couple of people who are celebrities right now doing this in Singapore and they're charging between $3,000 to $8,000 for a four hour block. I'm not talking about inclusive of meetings, I'm not talking about anything, etc. They're just going there, just being the MC. All right, now, this here are basically what we call B2B rate. So it's the MC, the talent themselves, towards the client. Now, if you're talking about having an event organizer, all I can say is that it's really up to your own discretion on how much you want to charge. Usually they charge it a bit lesser. That's because the event organizer will be giving you more jobs. And so it's really up to you how much you want to charge. But I would say, well, be fair to them because you want more jobs. Don't go in as an event organizer as yourself. But if you're talking about just first timers and just an experienced MC, the lowest average would be about $30. Yeah, it still is about $30 if for a first time. Um, and if you're a professional, it's about $500 per hour. So that's about an averaging up to $265 per hour if you think about this. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like a combination, right? From road shows, trade shows, I'm talking about even dinner and dance and team building. And this is why it's actually a mix of that average. So if you feel that there's anything that I've said wrong about this, please leave your comments below and let me correct this whole situation out. All right, without further ado, I know, yes, a drum roll, we want to go on with number one. But before we actually go on to that, these are some honorable mentions. Have a listen to this. You could actually go in as a balloon sculptor, you could go in as a magician, you could go in as maybe as just an entertainer or even a singer, a band singer. And I'm telling you, you could be making about a 500 to maybe an 800% profit because honestly, purchasing balloons, not that expensive. But the time standing there for half an hour to an hour, even face painting, all this, you could be earning between 100 to $500. That's really nice, isn't it? I mean, think about it that way. I mean, the rates for it to actually purchase all the products is not that expensive, honestly. All right, let's go on to number one. One man one person and his name is Ram. Have you ever heard of that? I mean like in the cinema you go in you listen to that cinematic movie trailer voice. Well that's because voiceovers are probably the highest paid freelance job in Singapore and throughout the entire world. Now let me share this with you based on just Mula itself, just talking about money, right? You could be earning anywhere between about 250 as the lowest to up to about $750 not even by the hour, by the way. That's because a lot of time, you would actually be in the studio for at a maximum an hour. Uh, a lot of times, it would actually be lesser than half an hour. Sometimes it can even be in there for about 15 minutes. 
Now, there are different types of coverage. You can actually do based on TV, radio, you can do even corporate videos or even animation. Sometimes you even do dubbing and all this mounts up to really good money. So I myself do voiceovers for animation at times. I've done that. Um, sometimes they request me to do like really high pitch voices, animal voices. So when I say animal voices, animal sounds, I mean. So if you're a type of person who loves, well, being away from people and you love expressing your voice, this is the perfect job for you. I, I mean, I'm a type of person who loves to interact with people, so I'm fine both ways, but there are some people who love to actually use your voice, but they just like to be secluded in a nice place. So yeah, go into that nice little cozy room. No one's gonna disturb you. That's because you're gonna be just wearing maybe a pair of, I mean, a singlet. You're gonna wear your shorts and just slippers. Number one, to avoid any noise. Number two, well, just a relaxing job. And I was not kidding that you can actually just wear your singlet and you can actually do this as a job, as a full-time gig. So pretty much anybody who would actually be going to voiceover, good money, you get to relax and enjoy what you're going to be doing. All right, so we're going to change the setting right now to something a bit more blue. Could we do that? At my snap, we will get this to blue lighting. That's right, now that feels more like what a voiceover studio is going to be like. No, I'm just kidding. Most of the time, it's going to be um, white light. So anyway, we're going to be doing this. This is something from one of my favorite cartoons. It's called Samurai Jack. And the voice for this is going to be by Aku. I mean, not Aku as in me, Aku, but Aku as in the character's name, Aku. A long time ago, I used to rule the world and then a samurai, a samurai from the past, came to the future because I sent him there and then he spent 50 years doing absolutely nothing. A period in which I could have killed 3 to 200 times over and I sat there and did nothing. And what did he do? He found a portal and then he drove a sword directly. Directly? That's pretty much what I can say. Okay, let's try doing um, something a bit more friendlier. Let's try on with something animated like Lilo and Stitch with Stitch. That kind of thing. So, or maybe a bit of Chewbacca. Change the lightings to red. All right, that seems a bit scarier. A little voiceover base for kids and i know the setting seems weird but never mind this would be something you would actually be able to hear on info commercials for kids so we're gonna be doing this one it's called bob the builder it's an info commercial kids share the fun as follow me scoop follows bob wherever he goes kids push bob's talkie talkie button and scoop drives and then makes the coolest moves have lots of fun when you bring home follow me scoop another bob the builder toy from learning curve or well, let's try in with UV lighting, could we? Right now. Alright. So many of you may have heard in the cinemas where you usually go in and you hear the movie trailer guy and he goes something like this. One man, one person, and his name is Ram, coming this summer in 2019. Let's get the lighting back to white, shall we? That's right, that's white right there. So I hope you enjoyed this really nice portion. All right, now let's talk about real money down here. TV commercials, between 15 to 30 seconds, you can earn anywhere between 250 to $350. That's it, right? Not even an hour, not even a minute. I'm talking about 15 to 30 seconds. But at 45 seconds, you could earn about 400 to $500. And for 60 seconds, which is one minute, 550 to $650. Now, when it comes into corporate videos, corporate videos for one minute to three minutes, it's about $350 to $550. Um, for four minutes to five minutes, it's about $450 to $750. And five to six minutes is about $550 to $950 for that few minutes, right? Now, here's the thing. There are a few things that you're gonna look at is that a lot of times people are not aware of is that you need to understand where is it going to be placed up. And now that is called the platform. The platform meaning, is it going to be on radio? Is it going to be on TV? Is it going to be on social media? Where is this going to be showcased on? Another thing you got to actually really consider of is that what is the loading period? What is a loading period? Well, that's very simple because a loading period refers to how long is that commercial, your voice is going to be on for. If it's going to be 
on for one month, a week, a year? Is it going to be on perpetual, meaning forever? So it really depends. Now, all this mounts up to how much you are going to be charging the production or you're going to be charging the client themselves. Another thing to take note of is also how seasoned are you as a voiceover actor? So I hope you enjoyed this episode. This right now is actually the top five high paying Singapore freelance jobs. And look, if you like this video, share it with your friends, with your family, with your pets, whoever you have to, and tell them all about this. Leave your comments below or wherever it's gonna be. Remember to subscribe right here to Top List Tuesday. And have a wonderful Selamat Hari Raya. All right, now for those of you who do not know who I am, Leave a comment below, let me know what race you think I am. Well, one thing I'm not is that I'm not Malay, for sure.